Hi guys, it's Christy Forsyth from Clarity here for you today with this week's energy updates and live tarot reading. So I'll let you guys hop on, um, and while I'm waiting for everybody to just hop on and, and catch up with things, um, a couple of things. So first of all, I have started my own YouTube channel. Um, the universe has kind of uh, manifested some video equipment for me and um, some a place to film and, and all of these things. So I'm going to be bumping up the videos. I'm going to be building a new YouTube channel that's going to be pretty consistent with videos. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to be posting these videos up on there. I'm also going to be doing monthly videos that are going to go through all the astrological signs and let you know month by month per sign what it is that you are needing to know to best navigate that month. I'm also going to be talking about crystals and doing meditations and things like that. So I will make sure to leave the link below. I would love it if you guys would subscribe so that you're not missing any of those videos because I'm not going to be putting everything up here on Facebook. So you want to make sure. Hi, Anna. Thanks for watching. I see a bunch of you guys said hi. I missed some of those. Hi, Chris. Chris says, don't forget our videos. Yeah, Chris and I are going to be doing videos together too. Um, and maybe you guys have seen some of our videos that we've done together before. So we're going to be doing more of those and those will be up there as well. Hi, Jennifer. Thank you for sending me sparkles. I always love to be sent sparkles. I appreciate that. Um, so let's check in. Um, well, also let me first mention that we have Clarity Connects for those of you that are local to our area or are looking to take a little drive out. We we have our Clarity Connects event coming up on March 2nd. Tickets are on sale now, and they're only $15, guys, right now, only until January 15th. So make sure that you get those if you want to get those at the cheapest price so that you can make sure that you're going to be there because I really feel like we're going to sell out as well. Hi, Mom. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, so yeah, so those are announcements, but let's check in with the energy. So I'm feeling like we need to be really careful to take some of these unexpected things that are showing up for us. Maybe they feel like um, little kinks in the road or they feel like, wow, I really thought things were moving in one direction and then very quickly they are moving in another. I think we need to take a pause. I think we need to take a step back and recognize them for the gift that they are because these really are gifts. I, I feel like the universe so much right now wants us to be living purposeful lives. They want us to be as on track and in alignment with what we have intended for ourselves to live. And so if we are not quite getting our messages or um, if things are shifting and there's a better option for us available than what we maybe even have seen for ourselves, they're going to manifest that for us. So a lot of that is showing up and I think a lot of people are looking at that going, well, that wasn't the plan and that's not the direction that I was thinking that things were going. But really take a pause, take a step back and recognize the gift in that. Maybe there's um, you know, a new opportunity and maybe it doesn't seem like an opportunity but recognize the opportunity that's shown up. Maybe there's a new relationship that has shown up for you, a new connection that has shown up for you that you didn't necessarily expect but it can lead you to some really powerful things. So making sure that you are really looking for that gift. I also feel like we're in such a time of needing to take some action on things. Um, and it's really some of these things that we don't necessarily have to do. You know, we're going to have to do some shit that we don't want to do this week. We're going to have to do some of these like little things that are us setting things up for these things that we're working towards that are setting us up for success later. So some of those little things that you have on your list that maybe you keep putting to the bottom of the list because they don't feel very fun, they don't feel very fancy, they're not very sparkly, they're not very fun, make sure that you're getting those done if they are on your to-do list and they're an important part of the process for whatever it is that you're working toward. And then you wanna make sure that you're balancing that out with allowing yourself to flow a little bit, getting lost in those act activities that you get lost in. Letting yourself do those things that you can just get into a flow that you can just enjoy yourself and have fun. And I would love to hear your ideas, guys, as to what you like to do, what you get lost in a flow doing. But making sure that you are getting lost in a flow, that you are allowing yourself to flow with what's showing up for us. Because a lot of times we think that we know it's best for us, but when we can allow ourselves to get into a state of flow and just honoring and recognizing the things that are showing up for us, that can be really, really powerful too. So that's 
really important. Frank says, get in the river. Yeah, that's been an example I've been using a lot of lately is we can choose to stay in the river, we can choose to stay in the flow, or we can step out and be on the riverbank, you know, and it's your choice how long you decide to stay on the riverbank, but step back into the flow, let yourself be in the flow because this is where you're going to be brought to all of those things that you're working on manifesting. So allowing yourself to do that. Anna says creativity, absolutely. Anything creative will put you into a flow. Um, I really like to go for hikes, for walks, things like that because I find myself getting into a meditative state and that's really powerful for me. Anything, you know, just listening to videos that are positive and uplifting puts me into a positive state and that puts you into flow. Basically, whenever you're feeling good, whenever you're feeling positive, you're in flow. And whenever we start to question things, whenever we try to control things, whenever we start to be unkind to ourselves, we are not in flow. We are on that riverbank. And this is an example that comes from that book, The Book of Love and Creation. I love that book by Paul Sel is it Selig or Selig, I'm not sure, um, but he is amazing. It's an amazing book. It's really powerful. I highly recommend it. It's taken me a really long time to get through it because it's all so purposeful and I'm just really taking my time to allow the words and um, the energy that comes with the words to just be absorbed through the process. So I highly recommend that book. Jessica says dance and writing. Absolutely. Those are great activities. So let's see what the cards have to say for us. And as always, we set our intention that we're connecting only with energy that is of the light. Make sure if you're watching live or on the replay that you guys say hi as well. I'd love to hear where you're watching from. Hit me with a hashtag replay. If you're watching on the replay where you're watching from, and also guys, if you are finding that these messages today or another day are really resonating for you, one of the ways that the videos get out there and reach people are by tagging people, by sharing the videos, really just getting that out there and helping me by sharing that if you feel like there's somebody who could use these messages that are here in this video. And we also wanna remember in the midst of this work that we're doing and all that stuff that I said that we need to do that maybe we don't want to do, can we remember that we're creating a foundation for our future here and if we can approach it from that energy, if we can approach it from that attitude, how much more powerful is that? How much better does that feel and put us back into that state of flow, right? Um, I think that that's really amazing and I think this week too we can just watch for help to show up for us. I think that we have a lot more help than we even realize and that was one of the things that I wanted to talk about is you know asking for help and allowing help as well and allowing help from the universe. So you have this list of all of these things that you want to do, right? And I just said this in a session before this. And and so we have this to-do list of things that we need to do, but can you also make a to-do list for the universe? Can you make two to-do lists? So what is the stuff that you want to work on and what is the stuff that you want to give to God, give to the universe, whatever you call that, and ask for some help with that? That doesn't mean you won't need to make or won't need to take action based on, you know, whatever it is that you're working toward. But if you can put that on your list and you can send that energy out there, I really feel like we can get some powerful help with that. And I think that people and opportunities are going to show up for us this week that will help to facilitate that even more. So watch for those too. It's, I just feel I love this energy that we're in. I love this energy that we're moving into. I think we're still doing some of our deep work right now, but it's helping to propel us forward. Let me know how you guys are feeling this energy. A lot of people came in today and were just, um, you know, saying, are you ready for this? So a lot of people have had stuff going on. Um, certainly we have our work still to do, but I feel like overall it is a good energy, a positive, high vibe, positive feeling energy. Okay, and I pulled a couple of cards from one of my other decks before. So this first one is um, the Break the Chain card, right? Um, and it says on an ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. And, um, you know, 
for me right now, what I'm feeling with this card is like, this is just a reminder that you don't have to do this the way that you've been taught to do this. I think that right now we're really in a place where we're breaking paradigms, where we're breaking rules, where we're all learning to be a little bit of a badass where we're saying, I don't have to play by these specific rules and these specific expectations. You don't have to do things the exact way that your parents would have you do them or that your parents did approach them. This is about us making our own rules and of course doing that with love and light and honoring our other human beings here on this earth. But but also rewriting our future, breaking those old patterns that don't serve us, releasing those fear-based thoughts, letting all of that go so that we can move forward into a better, more light-filled, more love-filled energy. Jessica says, I don't play by the rules. I believe you. I think that's great. You're a rebel, a badass, and I love it. I think that that's so important for us to tap into that energy a little bit of, you know, maybe we need to take a look at the rules that we have created for ourselves, maybe the rules that society have, has created for us, and ask ourselves, does this apply to me anymore? Does this work for me anymore? And the next card is the Great Gathering. It's all coming together, intuitive hits, soul tribe. We're meeting our soul family. We're making these connections. We are meeting the people that we are supposed to connect with so that we can you know, live out our best life so that we can proceed forward with these things that we are supposed to be doing in our most purposeful life. So looking for those soul connections that we're wanting to make, looking for those people that you're meant to be working with, looking for those people that you are meant to be connecting with on a romantic level. All right, so then we're gonna move on to the angel cards. Um, and this is, these two kind of came together. So I have the Knight of Fire, and this one says, a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence, think things through carefully. And then I have the Wheel card reversed, and this one says, a time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward, fortune is on your side. But these are kind of opposing energies with this Wheel card being reversed, and this is kind of saying, you know, there's a lot of energy that's propelling us forward, that's moving us forward rapidly, and a lot of things are happening now for us at once. But we're also gonna feel a little bit stuck with other things, and I feel like this is with some of those things that we're just feeling like we need to do, those things that we need to check off our list that we need to take care of, and I think when we can start to work on some of those things, it helps to create a little bit of a moment momentum. But don't get too frustrated if you're feeling stuck. Just allow yourself to flow with whatever's showing up for you because when you're in that flow, things are going to move more quickly anyway. The next one, and we've pulled this card a ton in my readings lately, is the dreamer card. The beginning of a journey, a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So again, for me, this is always about the beginning of a beautiful journey. And I keep talking about how we are starting this beautiful journey. We are entering into a new phase of things. And this also says unexpected opportunities. So I talked about that, making sure that we're allowing and we're watching for these unexpected opportunities that are showing up for us. And they might not always look awesome when they're first showing up. It might look like something that shows up that is a pain or that you're worried about or um, that throws you off a lot, but really watching for those opportunities and making sure that we are following our dreams, that we're taking action, that we're moving forward because this year is all about us living in our purpose and connecting on a deeper level with that. Jessica said, unexpected, will, uh, unexpected journey, love, adventure, absolutely. And then we have the five of water, things not turning out the way that you hoped, not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilled milk. What are you focusing on that you shouldn't be focusing on? What do you, you know, what's like maybe something from the past that really it's time for you to let go of? What are you putting too much energy into that's just holding you back? Because whenever we are in that space where we're focused on the past, where we're focused on you know, things that make us angry, we're focused on our sadness. When we're too much in that energy, it'll hold us back. It'll keep us stuck. It'll make us feel like we can't move forward. And so it's really important that we do our best to work on, 
yes, visiting those feelings if we need to, but that we're not staying in this and we're not spending our whole day focusing on what could have been or what should have been or why did this person do this to me? You know, we need to work on releasing ourselves from that energy. It's not about releasing that other person who has wronged you. It's about releasing yourself from that energy and allowing yourself to progress and focus on the things that you have to be grateful for. Focus on what's right in front of you. What do you have going on? What are the things that you have manifested that maybe a couple years ago you would have been thrilled to have in front of you and now you have this in your life right now so recognizing those things that you're grateful for rather than focusing too much on all of these things that don't serve you and that it's time to release and last but not least, we have the Page of Water, right? So this is a nice energy, especially with this Five of Water as well, because these can be connected with relationships, whether it's with other people or with ourselves. And this just says, a new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase heightened psychic abilities. And so we might find ourselves, this is a nice week for relationships in terms of progressing or moving into a, a closeness or a deeper connection. And this can also be that connection with ourselves. This can be us understanding ourselves a little bit better. Maybe we need to take a little bit more time out to be quiet, to listen to what our soul has to say to ourselves. And this is also about us connecting with our psychic abilities, right? So you're going to feel more psychic this week. You're going to feel more connected to your intuition. So my suggestion to you is that you take a little time out in order to allow yourself to listen to that because if you aren't allowing yourself the quiet, if you aren't taking time away that's just for you and that allows you to get into a little bit of a zen, into a little bit of a zone, then you're gonna miss some of your messages. So it's so important that we slow down a little bit and we allow these messages to come through to us. And we might not be consciously aware that they're coming through, but every time that you make an effort to meditate or just connect with your soul in some way, you are allowing information to come through that might just come through in your mind later that you're not necessarily aware of, um, but it, it just comes through as a thought in your head, or, I mean, it can come through in so many different ways. It can come through in the way of an opportunity coming your way because when you're more in alignment with your intuition you're going to be at the right place at the right time and connecting with the right people so just making sure that you're taking that time out to take advantage of this energy that we have coming up with us so those are the cards for today. If you want to learn more about me or about Clarity or to schedule a soul therapy session or your own private tarot reading, you can check me out at discoveryourawakening.com. I'll see you guys soon with another video.